Mathematics 2. Adding 2 to 3 digits without regrouping. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to visualize, represent, add 2 digit by 2 digit numbers without regrouping. Visualize, represent, add 3 digit by 2 digit numbers without regrouping. What do you mean by addition? Addition is the process whereby we put objects together. Let us see how. Let's add 32 and 17. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Thus, the sum of 32 and 17 is 49. Do you know the terms used in addition? This is the terms we used in addition. The numbers that we add are called add-ins. The answer in addition is called sum. Now let's move on, and adding two digits without regrouping. Adding to two digit without regrouping. When adding two digit numbers, always start on the right hand side of the problem. Are you always start on the ones column? For example, 72 plus 26. We need to start adding the digit from the right side or in the ones column. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Or let's count the sticks. We have two sticks and six sticks. Let's count them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Our answer is 8. After the right side is added, add the left side together, or add the digits in the tens column. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. We have seven sticks and two sticks. Again, let's count all the sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get nine. The sum of this digit is 98. Another example, let's add 14 and 52. Again, if we add two digits number, we always start in the right side or in the ones columns. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. We have 4 sticks and 2 sticks. Let's count them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We get 6. Next in the tens columns. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. Or, we count the sticks. We have 1 sticks and 5 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our answer is 6 and we get the sum 66. Adding to three digit without regrouping. In adding three digit numbers, it's just the same in adding two digit number. You always start in the ones column, next is in the tens column followed by hundreds column. Take a look at this example. Let's add 244 and 522. We start in ones column. Four plus two, we get six. Or let's count the total number of sticks. We have four sticks and two sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we get six. Move on to the tens column. Four plus two, we get six. Again, let's count the sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get six. And let's move on in the hundreds column. Two plus five. We get seven. Or let's count the sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Our answer is 7. The sum is 766. Let's add this second example. Let's add 634 and 225. So we need to add first in the ones column. 4 plus 5. We get 9. Or let's count the total number of sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We get 9. Next, let's add in the tens column. 3 plus 2, we get 5. Or let's count the sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We get 5. And lastly, in the hundreds column, 6 plus 2, we get 8. Again, let's count the number of sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Our answer is 859. Did you get it? Bravo! Try this on your own. Get your pencil and paper.
Very good.